Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. In this video, we will learn about the nine most common type of abdominal incisions. Number one, there is the median or the midline incision that is given along the linea alba. No muscle fibers are cut in this type of incision. No nerves are injured. It is bloodless because no blood vessels are cut in this procedure and uh, therefore it may undergo necrosis due to the poor blood supply. Healing of midline incisions is very poor therefore incisional hernias can occur. Second type of incisions are the paramedian incisions. These are better than the midline incisions. Anterior wall of the rectus sheath is exposed and incised about 1 inch lateral to the midline. So anterior wall of the rectus sheath is firstly freed from the tendinous insertions of the rectus abdominis muscle. Rectus muscle is retracted laterally so nerve supply remains intact and then posterior wall of the rectus sheath, fascia transversalis and peritoneum are exposed. Median and paramedian incisions are mostly given for the exploratory operations or exploratory laparotomy. Next are the pararectal incisions. These are high risk incisions and these are given along the lateral border of rectus sheath. They are undesirable because they may cut the nerve supply of rectus abdominis muscle. The incision marked in blue represents the pararectal incisions. At number 4 we have the transverse incisions. These are given through the anterior layer of rectus sheath and rectus abdominis muscle. They provide good access and causes the least damage to nerve supply of the rectus abdominis muscle. The transverse incisions are not made through the tendinous insertions of the rectus abdominis muscle because the cutaneous nerves and the branches of superior epigastric vessels pierces these fibrous regions. Transverse incisions can be done at the level above or below the umbilicus and they provide the good exposure to the operator. Next we have the cochures or the right subcostal incision. It is given about 2 to 5 cm below and parallel to the right costal margin to avoid the injury to 7th and 8th spinal nerve. It is mostly done for the exposure of gallbladder and associated ducts. Left subcostal incision is given for the exposure or the removal of spleen. Then we have the McBurney's or the grid iron incision also called the muscle splitting incision. It is an oblique incision that is given in the right iliac fossa 2 inch supramedially from the anterior superior iliac spine and this point is also called the McBurney's point. This type of incision is given for the appendectomy removal of the appendix and in this type of incision external oblique internal oblique transverses abdominis all are split in line therefore it is called the muscle splitting incision and in this type of incision there is no post operative weakness here you can see this is the subcostal or the cochures incision and the number 6 is the McBurney's or the gridirons incision Next we have the battles incision. It is a paramedian incision and it is done for performing appendectomy, sigmoidectomy and hysterectomy. In this case anterior and posterior layers of the rectus sheath are transected with medial retraction of the rectus muscle. Blood supply and innervation of the rectus muscle is preserved. It has less risk of post operative hernia, pain and wound infection. Then we have the lens incision. It is the variation of McBurney's incision. It is made at the same point but in the horizontal or in the transverse plane and it gives cosmetically better scar than the McBurney's incision. Here number 8 is showing the lens incision. At number 9 we have the suprapubic or the fanon steel incision. In this type of incision linea alba and anterior layer of rectus sheath are transected and rectus muscles are retracted laterally. It is made at the pubic hairline. It is horizontal incision with a slight convexity. It is used for most gynecological and obstetrical operations for example cesarean section. In this case the iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerves are preserved. Sometimes a tenth type of incision is used that is Rutherford Morrison muscle cutting incision. It is used for right or left colonic resection. So at number 9 you can see the suprapubic or the fanon steel incision and at number 10 there is the Rutherford Morrison's muscle cutting incision.